So it's uh, my pleasure to introduce the uh, fourth and uh, last session of this year's ICF on accelerating change for industry transformation. Um, over the previous three sessions, we have seen many innovations and many inspiring pilot or demonstration projects and applications. And we've also seen uh, many highlight the importance of scaling these emerging uh, practices for maximum uh, benefit. We've also heard about many uh, challenges um, to rapidly scale these innovations. For example, Agnes pointed out uh, that sustainability is typically not a criterion for selection of designs and project teams. Hayes highlighted the importance of need for testing, right, to convince regulatory agencies. And uh, Barrow pointed out um, business issues around, uh, you know, profit incentives and so on. And, and many other challenges were, uh, were highlighted. Um, so hopefully we can uh, talk about some of these uh, challenges here. Um, so we have heard about the stickiness of existing practices and, and worries also of taking work away. But on the flip side, many speakers have highlighted um, many unfilled aspirations we have for the built environment. Um, that we should achieve much better performance, that we should be much safer, higher quality, um, less environmental impact, dramatically less environmental impact, and so on. So it seems like it would be a good thing if we could not do some of the things we have to do today, so we can do the things that we should be doing. Um, so one would expect, right, given the situation, that um, good new practices would disseminate really rapidly. But sadly, in my experience, that is uh, really not the case. Um, I have, uh, yeah, this is, for naive Swiss engineers, this has been one of the big uh, questions of my career. Why are we so slow in learning from good examples? Um, and uh, many have pointed out that, uh, yeah, Martin, that's, you know, we, first of all, we need to learn from mistakes. We need to not make mistakes again. Yes, I agree. But right, if you think about it, not repeating mistakes doesn't yet allow us to do something great. And we have to do great things. The aspirations we have are for doing uh, creating great structures, great projects, uh, great buildings, great infrastructure. And just avoiding mistakes is really only a small step in that. So we really have to figure out how we are going to learn from the exciting, um, inspiring pilot and demonstration projects and disseminate that faster. So I'm looking forward to the panel to um, tell us what they're doing in this respect. Um, Change requires knowledge, money, policy, technology, and applications. And that's why we have uh, the five speakers, right, um, to speak to these topics, as you can see in the sequence, with uh, Daniel, who's in academia, Julieta on the uh, um, VC side, uh, Alain working a lot in consortia um, that influence the uh, public agencies, um, Amy um, on the technology side, and then uh, Chris on the application side. Of course, everybody uh, is connected with the other elements. It's not just so single-minded in a box. Um, but uh, still, I'm excited that we have really um, people that are experts in these fields uh, on this panel. 